So today we're going to learn how to annotate an invertebrate mitochondrial genome. Um, and the things that you'll need in order to do this is Mega, which you can download from the web right here. It's a free download software. And we also need XBASE, which will help us identify the start and stop codons of our protein coding genes. XBASE can be actually found using this web link here, um, and it does not need to be downloaded from the internet. So once you have downloaded Mega, uh, a software like this one will pop up here. Using the Mega database, we will be able to create a data set using the information provided to us by Mitos. And how we bring this up is we click on date, open a file session, and in this raw data zip file that Mitos has created for us, there will be a, a sequence.fast file. We're going to open this file and we're going to align this file. So this right here shows us the entirety of our specific invertebrate genome. This will be, we will want to keep handy because it will allow us to identify where the start and stop codons are if the information was, that was given to us wasn't provided correctly. So we're going to put that right there. And we can use this to find the location of any nucleotide within the sequence. So for instance, nucleotide number 333, and we can see that it's A right there. Now we are ready to start annotating the genome. Um, the one example that I'm going to show you is gene NAD3. So using our results from Mitos, we're going to scroll down and find this gene. So it's right here. Um, Mitos says that this gene starts number 4127 and ends at 4471. So we're going to copy and paste the sequence into XBASE. And then we're going to make sure that this is on verbose. And we want to select invertebrate mitochondrial. This is essential because we need to have the unique start and stop codons identified. Um, so we're going to translate. And if we scroll down, and you see right here we have a start codon, but we do not have a stop codon. So our information over here told us that this gene stopped at 4471. So we're going to go to 4471. And the last nucleotide in this sequence was an A right here, and this is an A right here. So we're going to grab the next and we're going to go to about right here to see if there's a stop codon in there somewhere. So we paste that into there, have it translated for us, and we see that we have found a stop codon, but there are extra nucleotides that are not needed. So we're going to delete And hopefully we'll be generating a stop codon. It is really important to identify regular stop codons and also not normal stop codons within um, mitochondrial genes for invertebrates. Um, one of the common ones is TAA sequence. That's why I deleted four nucleotides instead of just three. Hopefully this will give us a stop codon. And yep, there it is, a stop codon right there. So from this information, we know that the end of the gene actually ends at this A instead of this A down here. So what we're going to do is we know that now this gene ends at 4474 instead of 4471. So we're going to go into our final annotation and we're going to copy this sequence and put it in for a final sequence for NAD3. And then we're going to show that it ends at 4474. And then you can also use this information and put it into your table. Like we see right here, the gene starts at 4127 because we have a start codon right here. And it ends at 4474 because we have a stop codon right here. And using this, we can identify the number of base pairs. And we can also identify the start codon, which is ATA, and also identify the stop codon, which is TAA. One thing that I think is very important to point out is make sure that you do um, be very careful when you're annotating these genes. It's very, very easy to even slip up and miss a nucleotide there or miss a sequence here. Um, make sure that you're really focused and taking your time doing this with this. One thing that I learned was it's, that it is very helpful to have these four screens popped up like this, just so you're not um, messing up when you're scrolling in between screens and back and forth between everything. You just have everything right here where you need it. Um, and also, don't hesitate to reach out to any of us if you actually do need help or assistance. Um, we're all very happy 
to help you and assist you in annotating these genomes. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.